fly here is a is probably one of the it can be tied any colour. Firstly, is that, but this is the granum. It's a caddis fly. It's one of the earliest of the caddis flies that comes off. Uh, especially if you're a fish, we get these in late April, beginning of May, depending on how warm the weather is. Uh, it's quite cold or not hatch until uh, that first kick in the the spring when you get a nice bit of heat, and these start to come off in the river and come off in millions. Now I'm representing the female here with the egg sac. The female, the male is slightly smaller, so this is like a 14. You want like a 16 for the male, because uh, they are distinct in size. You will see the two sizes. Now to represent the the egg sac, you can use. I'm using this is quite the the foam, the two mil thick foam over here, and just basically cut a length off. I'm just going to fall. This will act as a small. As I say egg sac at the back, but it helps float the fly as well. Now this is the bubble version, the bubble CDC. Now you can pull this fly and it'll pop straight back up, and it's especially good for this fly because when these, uh, well, the cad, this cad just goes back, it lays its eggs. It actually goes back into the river. It, it comes round the stone, into and behind the stone, lays its eggs and pops back up. So having a fly, you can pull them, pull it below the, below the water and let it pop back up as a it's just a natural uh, thing that does happen with the with the real fly itself, so certainly worth having. But as I say, it's worth tying in different colours this fly and represent different sedges or caddis. So anyway, the thread I'm going to be using, you can use this as a rusty dun. Uh, it's a nice colour for this fly as well as a grey, so you can use it. Uh, waxed it, so I've got plenty of grip. Now the first thing I do is going to come down about halfway. Then I'm going to start to tie in the foam. Now this is around about two mil wide, two mil square really. I'm just going to catch it in and then slightly stretch it as a wind towards the back. I want it. To, I want to drop the the egg sac just below the shank, so it just slightly onto the bend. Now you could actually just put it on as a uh, what do you call it? Just cut it the way it is, or like what I like to do is just to form like a small really an egg sack in a way. So basically come over and show you that you'll see it looks like just a small egg sack. You, they're very distinct in the fly it does show up so it's worth doing. Now to basically cut it a straight cut on the top of the shank like that will give you a, like a taper cut onto the foam. It's certainly worth then making sure that's secure. And then come back down and we tie in some now, some dubbing. Now you can use a, a grey rabbit or a mould even I've used in the past. But basically this is just rabbit. Now I've, I've actually mixed in a wee bit of UV flash in with it so that it just catches the light. Just because that this is a type of flash that uh, you'll see the blue there. Uh, it basically works when the light's right when these are coming off. And especially when these, these are below the surface. Now I'm just going to tiny wee bit at this point, just a tiny wee bit of dubbing. Now I'm going to put the CDC wing on but sometimes if you, if I just like to tidy this bit first before I do that. It's only a wee drop, it's just basically to tidy the back up. That's just being fussy, that's all I'm doing just to make it look better. And more than I, I just like it. So stroke back the fibres, there'll be a wee long fibres there. Like that one is just too long to take it out. Now in this fly, if I was just using CDC for the wing or the bubble, I would have three feathers for this size of fly. But because I'm going to put some deer hair on the top of this, two is fine, two is enough. Now we've got two large to medium sized feathers. These are Mallard Duck CDC. So what I'm going to do is draw back what I don't need at this point. Just enough to form the bubble. Basically what you do is pull it with your fingers and tighten it up to the tips of tying, tying them in on the top right up against the egg sac just check because this is I say going to form this traps the air behind just check and see what it's like first it's ok and when you're happy then you can again just pinch the thread take it up just to tidy up I'm going to go back to my dubbing just going to lightly dub it on and just basically tidy this. 
So don't be shy, we are Cardis body, the Cardis have got a really quite a thick body, so don't be shy, don't worry about being too heavy. I'm just going to taper it out, just thin it out as I wind up, just to the light dubbing, just to tidy the body. So a very quick look underneath there. Again, stretch it out and work up. This is just done trying to balance the body itself. When you're happy, I mean, it's foam that's under there, so that helps float the fly. Now, the body length is like two thirds the shank, so lay a third of that for your, your thorax and tying in your, your wing. Once you're happy, just take away the excess dubbing. Any any dubbing going forward, like any long fibres, just roll them back with your fingers. And then we're going to form the bubble, the CDC. So what I do is basically bring both ends tight together. Now with these fibres we drew back earlier, we can bring some of that back into the wing. So we just take some either side of the stem, I'll show you, you can see it the side there. Just again, pull it. You don't want it all though, just enough just to give some sort of life to the wing. Now you want this to the back, now you basically pinch them together, nice three or four turns or so just to secure it. Now you can always go back at this point if you're not happy. Now it's a bit flat here, so what I do is I put my needle in and just use the round it. This opens the bubble up and lowers it slightly, gives it a better shape. And you can see that there, that's fine. So then we can trim away the excess. Make sure you wax your thread at this point. Hold the wing and make sure this is nice and tight. Now what I'm going to do here is I like to put the, the horns on. Now this is this is a bronze mallard, bronze mallard feather. Uh, this is the bronze mallard side, obviously the brown side. But on this side there's a nice grey fibre. It's very good for horns. It's a nice light colour. It's got a nice speckle on it. And then we just take two off, tie them forward to represent horns, just put a pinch on the top just to secure them, to see how they're sitting. That looks fine. Trim away the excess. And then we work up and we tie in some a wee bit of deer hair and then basically tidy up a bit of dubbing to finish it off. So this is just a bit of road here, it adds a wee bit of brown, adds obviously makes it helps to float the fly. You don't want too much, to, it's enough to give impression. It's fine, just cut away from the skin. Now I'm going to stack it, so I'm going to take away any under fur, keep hold of the tips, goes into the stacker, tips first. Tap it on your desk. Make sure the tips are lined up, it's fine. I think I've got a couple of broken ends there, I don't know if you can see them, but you just you can take them out. Take, it, take your time. You could cut them out or you can just do what I'm doing. Because they're thicker, they're easier to they're quite easy to get a hold of. Now you want these tips to come to the end of the wing. So what I normally do is trim it. you wax on your thread. So there's the cut ends. Then we can take the thread turns into the cut end, keeping the hair on top. That's fine. And then we can tidy up and get back to the same dubbing, same stuff we use for the body. Nice and light with it. Let me make sure I've got a wee bit of the blue, the UV. Just lightly dub it on. Now you see where the thread is, it's quite far down, it's down at near the, the head. I'm going to work up. There's times it's easier to work up the way than as you work down it keeps slipping this way, it'll not slip, you put support on each turn all the way to the wing. Just check the underside and then we can work our way through ribbing it with the rest of the material. Just lift your horns, bring your thread to the front check things are sitting the way you want. And then 
when you've got a bit of dubbing near the head, it's sometimes best just to varnish. Put some varnish on the thread. Just about a centimetre from the eye onto that thread. And then we want to quite finish. Just lift your horns back. Tighten your quick finish, trim away your waist. And there we are. And that's uh, Basically, they are, well, it's like the, the, it's the granums, the bubble CDC, it's a green tail. This was one of the names given to the ash flag years ago, uh, the green tail. And uh, as I say, it's a great style, any colour as well as uh, for the granum, it's a, it's a great pattern. If you want, you can pick out some of the dubbing, give it more a leg. You can even, if you want, if you don't prefer to put a hackle on this thorax area, you can always find a hackle. Uh, but the the basic, the CDC wing is plenty to float the fly. So there we are. And there you go. That's the granum. Great pattern. So I say tie it a couple of sizes. Uh, the smaller size, this is a 14, you like a 16. Tie it without this egg sac. But that would be ideal for the female.